you can, from the Gmail app, select multiple messages all at once, kind of like using the checkboxes when you're on your desktop. And, of course, in the same way, you can then apply different things to all of those all at the same time. And that's going to allow you to very quickly make changes to a whole batch of messages. So rather than having to open and close each of these, I can actually instead tap right on, in this case, Jordan's face. So the little circle you see on the left next to any of these, whether it's a little D like for Darren here, or if I've got a photo, I can tap on that face and select the message. Once I've done that, I can don't have to be as specific. Now I can just tap anywhere on these different messages to select them all. It's only that first one where I really need to actually make, be precise about where I tap. Now that I've done that though, it lets me know at the top I've got five messages selected. It's showing me at first the archive button, the delete or trash button, and then the mark as read or unread button depending on the status of these messages. Now they've all been read so that's the mark as read button right now. If I were to tap the three dots, the other options I'm going to get is snooze. Maybe I want these just just go away for now and come back this afternoon or tomorrow morning. I can move them if I have particular labels that I want to apply and have them archived immediately moved into those labels. Uh, I can change the label if I wanted to apply something special to a handful of them. Marking is important as an option as well. Uh, mute is a little bit like a block. Uh, report spam or cancel. So really, uh, it's a nice handy way to be able to select a whole batch of messages, especially if you get a bunch from, say, uh, Google Plus or a bunch from a particular source that you want to make changes to. It's going to allow you then to quickly tap on these messages. I can deselect certain ones if I need to, <coughs> and then change those, apply those actions, and move on to the next thing.